Kia ora everybody and welcome back to the kitchen. This is a different kitchen though. I'm here at Ronald McDonald House in Grafton News in Auckland and we're going to be cooking a casserole for tonight's dinner. So at the moment we are um, at Starship Hospital with our granddaughter who's had some surgery and she's just recovering and so we're here at Ronald McDonald House. So thought we might as well do some cooking here. I'm going to show you around the kitchen. Hang on, have a look. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful kitchen that they have. How cool is that? So, today we're going to be making a casserole. I've got the pot here, and I've got the oil that's in there that's already heated up, and I'm going to pop that back on the back on the, the burner here. Now, we went to the shop the other day and picked up um, some gravy beef, and gravy beef is a, like a cheap cut of beef, but it was cheap. Look, it was cheap, cheap, cheap. So we picked those up, I picked up a couple of those and I'm going to cook them off. I'm going to put them into my pot and cook them off. And the pot's nice and hot and the oil's nice and hot so that I can sear it. Okay, so just give me a minute and I'll in here. I can hear all the clanging from the other side of the kitchen. Right, all our meat's cooked and you can see all those gorgeous brown gnarly bits. They're the best stuff. Okay, and the bottom of my pot is nice and brown and sort of sticky. Okay, this is the flavour. I keep telling you that. I know you know that by now. Now, I've got some other things that I'm going to be adding. I've got some garlic here that I've chopped up. And instead of picking up individual vegetables, I picked up the soup pack. So we've got some parsnip, carrots, um, celery, and swede. And a pack of mushrooms. So I'm just going to chuck all those in together into our pot and cook it up. So I'll show you what that looks like. Check that out. This has been cooking for about uh, maybe five or six minutes. And you can see that it's starting to soften up all that, um, the brown bit in the bottom, you know, the bit that sticks from the meat. So it's looking and smelling really, really good. And the veggies are starting to get really soft. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add our whoop, meat back in there and give it a bit of a stir up. And I'm going to add probably maybe about uh, two or three cups worth of meat. So it's not going to quite cover the top, but I'm sorry water so two or three cups worth of water and it's not going to quite cover over the meat and I'm just going to start to cook that off so that it can soften up all those juices and and all the flavors can start to develop so let me do that and I'll get back to you I've salted and peppered it and I've added my water um, and I'm just going to let it do its thing now look if you want to add like beef stock or some sort of stock to it you do that but I haven't got any here so water would be fine and I found um, a soup mix in the cupboard that I'm going to be throwing in later on. So I'll show you what that looks like in my way. So I'm going to let this do its thing, pop the lid on and um, let it just slow cook. So I'm going to turn the heat down just a fraction and let it slow cook so that it can um, soften up that meat. Because it's a cheaper cut of meat, cheaper, nothing's cheap here in New Zealand, just throwing that out there. But because it's a cheaper cut of meat, it's um, going to take a little bit longer. It's going to be a tougher cut of meat. And um, that's why the slow cooker is good. I can put it into a slow cooker, but I'm just going to leave it in here instead of doing that because um, there's dishes. So um, I'll show you what that looks like in probably an hour, eh? See you soon. I've got a packet of cream of mushroom soup that we found in the cupboard. Thank you, somebody that donated that because we're going to thicken our casserole with this or our stew with this. So I've added a little bit of water to make a bit of a slurry and and I'm going to just quickly show you what that looks like. Check that out. Ooh. Yeah, it looks really good. Looks really, really good. It smells delicious. Yeah. So it's all cooked up, which is great. And I'm just going to add that to thicken it up and add a little bit more flavour. Okay, if it isn't thick enough, I'm going to probably add a couple of tablespoons of flour, because that's what I've got, I haven't got any corn flour here, either or, and add a little bit of water to it to make a slurry as well, and thicken it up a bit more. And, no, I think it'll be alright. Should be fine. So I'm going to cook this off for another uh, five minutes, and then she should just about be ready. Yay! That is our dinner for tonight. So we're going to be taking it up to the hospital so that we can eat it with our, our granddaughter and um, our daughter who's up there. And we don't want hospital food every time. We're grateful for all the hospital food. We really are, but home food is where it's at. So I'm just going to try it just in case it's poison. 
Oh, I added some peas and corn too at the very last minute and just barely cooked them off because I want the colour, okay? Oh yeah, that's really good. And the meat. It's beautiful and soft. That tastes so good. Yum. So that was an anything casserole. That's what it's called, anything casserole. So, hope you guys are well. Take it easy and um, we shall see you soon. Ka